gentlemen, the single guests, if you are able, please stand. Your Excellency, the Right Honourable Dane Callum Wincoming, Administrator of the Government. Inga mana, inga reo, inga iwi o ngā haui whā, tēnei aku mihi māhana ki a koutou, nau mai haere mai rā ki te whari kāwana. Kia ora tātou katoa. Distinguished guests, as you may know, our Governor-General of the Right, Honourable Dame Cindy Kiro, is overseas. I am proud to serve as Administrator of the Government in Dame Cindy's absence. On behalf of the Governor-General, I warmly welcome you all to Government House for this very special investiture ceremony. I acknowledge Rear Admiral Jim Gilmore, Commander of Joint Forces in New Zealand, there you are. Uh, and Mr Joe Harawera, Harawera Taumatua, Ms Puiwa Pui Hine Tibble, Kuia, Tena Kauto. Today's recipients of Royal Honours are amongst the first in New Zealand to receive His Majesty's approval. Investiture ceremonies celebrate and affirm qualities cherished in our communities, commitment, ingenuity, and the desire to effect positive change. Our recipients have each brought pride and a greater sense of well-being to Aotearoa through your outstanding achievements and your service to our communities. On behalf of all New Zealanders, I extend my sincerest thank you to you for your contributions. Mr Ward Kamal will now summon the recipients and read their salutations. And after each recipient is honoured, I invite you all to join me in congratulating them. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mr. Eric Murray of Cambridge for services to rowing. Well, Eric Murray, with Hamish Bond, won gold medals in the rowing coxless pair at two Olympic Games, setting both world and Olympic records. They had 69 consecutive wins in the men's coxless pair. They won seven consecutive world rowing championship titles in the coxless pair and two in the coxed pair. They hold world best times in the coxed pair and coxless pair. They won 16 World Rowing Cup medals and have had 11 wins at the Henley Royal Regatta, two wins at the Holland Becker, and 14 domestic wins in New Zealand. Mr Murray retired from competing in 2016 and is now an ANZ Olympic ambassador, a member of World Rowing's Indoor Rowing Commission, patron of Autism New Zealand, and a trustee of Parago Trust supporting young Cambridge athletes. Mr Eric Murray, please come forward.
Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of an officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mr. Roger Donaldson of California for services to film. Roger Donaldson is a writer, director, producer, cinematographer and photographer. Through his film company, Aardvark Films, he directed and produced commercials, narrative films and documentaries, including Bert Munro, Offerings to the God of Speed. He directed a documentary adventure series featuring Sir Edmund Hillary and collaborated on several television projects, including the anthology series Winners and Losers. He directed and produced Sleeping Dogs and wrote, produced and directed Smash Palace, two seminal works of New Zealand cinema. His film The Mountie provided him his first international break. Since then, he's gone on to direct a number of Hollywood-produced films such as Cocktail, Cadillac Man, Species, Dante's Peak and The Recruit. He wrote, directed and co-produced the New Zealand film The World's Fastest Indian and directed the documentary McLaren. Mr. Roger Donaldson, please come forward. Mr. David Funny of Auckland for services to the performing arts. David Funny has acted in many key productions, strengthening the Pacific voice in New Zealand, including Fresh Off the Boat, New Sela, Dawn Raids, Sons, and A Frigate Bird Sings, also working as a writer or director on several of these works. He is a driving force of the Naked Samoans, a nationally and internationally successful acting company focused on satirical comedy. He is featured in iconic television series and films including Outrageous Fortune, What Now, Bro Town, The Tattooist, Eagle vs Shark and The Sioni Wedding films. He has also expanded his profile internationally in a range of Australian and United States productions. Mr. Fane has sought to extend possibilities for Pacific performing artists and has worked to create accessible experiences and pathways for the next generation of creatives. Mr. David Fane, please come forward. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mrs. Honorette Narclay of Auckland for services to the Lebanese community. Honorette Narclay is Honorary Consul for Lebanon and New Zealand. She established the Lebanity Trust to promote and preserve Lebanese culture and heritage. She initiated a cultural exchange between Papakura Marae and the Auckland Lebanese community. She led planning and construction of the St Elias Malkite Catholic Church in Auckland and established the Gardens Community Hall on the church grounds. She assists immigrants from Lebanon and surrounding countries to settle in New Zealand. She is president of the New Zealand chapter of the Australia New Zealand Lebanon Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Mrs Narclay has helped connect businesses and community leaders in New Zealand of Lebanese or Middle Eastern descent. Mrs. Henriette Narclay, please come forward.
Mr. Lomir Naniseni of Auckland for services to the Togalao community. Lomir Naniseni is well known for his handicrafts within the Togalao community, particularly his work with the Mother of Pearl shell. He is recognised for his craftsmanship of pa, a significant emblem in Togalawan culture, originally used as a fishing hook, now worn as necklaces and gifted on significant events. His jewellery is worn across the South Pacific. He has crafted brooches and shell uh, necklaces for pastors and ministers. He practices and teaches fatele, traditional Togalawan dance, and has composed many of his own songs. Mr. Naniseni grows hundreds of gardenias each year to be used for traditional flower garlands. Mr. Lomia Naniseni, please come forward. Your Excellency, to receive an Honorary Queen's Service Medal. Mrs. Namai Vuthango of Auckland for services to Fijian and Pacific communities. Namai Vuthango is a producer and presenter of the Radio 531 PI Fijian Language Program. She is an Auckland Fiji Community Executive Board Member, Secretary for the Fijian Methodist Church Dovata Confederacy and Manurewa Bible Group, and Secretary for the New Zealand Fijian Advisory Council. She is the Pacifica Festival Fiji Village Stage Manager and MC. She is part of the Pacific Leadership Forum and Fijian Language Week Committee. She volunteered with Treaty Times 30, overseeing translation of the Treaty of Waitangi, Treaty of Waitangi into Fijian. Mrs. Futango has been a Fijian translator, interpreter and presenter during the COVID-19 pandemic. Mrs. Namai Vuthango, please come forward. Your Excellency, and to receive the New Zealand Distinguished Service Decoration, Captain Brendan Clark for services to the New Zealand Defence Force. Well, Captain Brendan Clark has served with the Royal New Zealand Navy since 1992 and trained as a seaman officer, serving operationally on a range of warships and in staff positions across the New Zealand Defence Force. In July 2021, Captain Clark was deployed to Bahrain as commander of the Combined Task Force 150, CTF 150, which operates under the umbrella of the United States Naval Command, uniting 34 nations to conduct maritime security operations in the Middle East region. At a lower rank than is normally set for the role, he commanded CTF 150 for a period of six months contributing to a record-breaking year of drug seizures in the Middle East region. He was fundamental in developing the capacity and capability of numerous regional countries through a demanding and varied leadership engagement program. Captain Clark's pragmatic approach impacted on the primary funding streams of terrorist organisations with 14 successful interdictions, netting 2,486 kilograms of heroin, 11,467 kilograms of hashish, 
1,578 kilograms of methamphetamine and 16 kilograms of Captagon pills, which was a first for the combined maritime force. Captain Brendan Clark, please come forward. Your Excellency, the investiture has concluded. Well, my warmest congratulations to all of today's recipients. New Zealand's honours system is our highest public affirmation of outstanding achievement. Our recipients have excelled and contributed across an extraordinary range of disciplines and causes. However, they all reinforce those things that make our society better, service, manaakitanga, and the pursuit of excellence. To our recipients, it's been a privilege to hear your stories. You've each used your talents and abilities to improve the lives of your fellow New Zealanders. In doing so, you embody the sentiments of the Whakatauki, Faya te iti kahurangi ki te tuahu koe, me himonga teite. Seek the tre treasure that you value most dearly. If you bow your head, let it be to a lofty mountain. I urge the recipients to wear your insignia with pride at every opportunity, knowing that you inspire others by your example. On behalf of the King of New Zealand and all New Zealanders, I congratulate you on your achievements and thank you once again for your service to our country. I'd also like to acknowledge the family and friends who are here today. The recipients could not have achieved all that they have without your love and support, and I and all of New Zealand thank you for that. Kia ora hui hui tato katoa. Now you'll see on the back of your programme the words of the National Anthem in Te Reo Māori and English, and I invite you now to stand and join me in singing the anthem. Mm -hmm. 